The power of touch is amazing, isn't it? In fact, healthy touch helps us release oxytocin, which is our feel-good hormone. That helps us feel bonded. It helps us feel trusted, trust others. It helps us feel connected, part of a community. It helps us feel loved and nurtured. What do you want around touch? Like, do you know, if you're in a situation, do you know how to ask somebody if they would like a hug? Or how to say no if someone tries to hug you and you don't want a hug? So today I want to give you just a couple quick tips on that. So let's say you walk into a room and you're a hugger. I'm a hugger, so I know how to do this, right? I had a lot of practice. So I could come in and be like, hey, it's so good to see you. I'm a hugger. And just hug whoever's in front of me and watch them deal with that in whatever way they choose. Or I could say like, hey, can I have a hug? Now that's interesting, isn't it, if you listen to the phrasing? Because now I'm giving the other person the option to give something to me. Can I have a hug means like, hey, I want a hug. Will you give it to me? It's a pretty great way to ask for a hug. But what if you're trying to allow the other person to have choice? You already know you, have, you want a hug. How about saying, would you like a hug? Think about how different that is. Now you're asking them, what do they want? Even if they say no to that hug, you showed them respect. You showed that you care enough to ask. You showed that you'll listen to their answer. So imagine now how fast you can connect with another human being when you ask what they want in that way. Would you like a handshake or are you doing elbow bumps? And honor that decision. Now, perhaps instead of asking people if they want a hug, perhaps you don't like hugs. Maybe it's an uncomfortable situation from you. Maybe you only take hugs from your closest family because you're energetically sensitive. Maybe there's a history of trauma and all of that's okay. The one thing you can do when someone is reaching out to give you a hug or keeps putting their hand on your shoulder that you're uncomfortable is to say, thank you so much for reaching out to me in this way. I actually prefer not to be touched. And you can say it really, really gently in that way and say, can we just have a conversation instead? Or I would prefer it if you just looked me in the eyes when we spoke instead of resting your hand on mine. Right? So you can offer another option. And this works really well for moms, for busy moms too. You know, when your kids are coming up and they're trying to hug you and you're cooking dinner and it's a lot, it's a lot of energy and you're overwhelmed and you don't want to turn somebody down, but you feel like you should hug them because they're your kid and all this stuff. Redirect. Oh my gosh, my dear, I would love to hug you. However, I'm in the middle of dinner. Can I hug you in 10 minutes? So giving them the yes, I see you, I'm validating you, and I want to give you what you need, but here's what I need. I need time, I need space, I need this other boundary. So think about that. When you know of situations or people that are gonna make you uncomfortable or where you're not sure how to act, think about what, what's a really gracious way that I could give them options, that I could give them choice and make them feel valued, loved, wanted, and heard. I hope that helps. Have a lovely day.